Oh. Right, good evening and welcome back to another vlog here on the channel. I'm so excited for this. I've just started to stop and think to myself, I should be filming this. Anyway, welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm here at the Titanic Hotel in Belfast. I've been here like 20 minutes or so. I've done that wrap up of the last vlog. I hope you enjoyed that one. Going around Northern Ireland, getting the creds. What a brilliant day I've had, it's so good. Anyway, I'm here at the Titanic Hotel and it's absolutely stunning. I've just literally just drove up this second, so this is my first time reaction. Yes, I am held, handheld, but it's okay. I've got my seatbelt on, so we're good. So I did pay for parking as well. So the whole thing was 177 pound. Look at the museum. Oh, <laughs> oh my, I'm gonna set myself off in a minute. I shouldn't even be filming, to be honest. But here's the hotel, it's too posh for me. I need to go in and get changed and then I'll have a walk around and get some more footage. The whole review, yeah, there's parking included with this as well. So I've got a park and stay. So it says there's an on-site parking underground. Uh, there isn't any. <laughs> Where's the parking? <laughs> have I missed it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll get back to you, but ah, oh, cranes. Oh, it's just brilliant round here. So good. Yeah, it's a dead end there anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, the Titanic Museum. That will be coming up tomorrow. In tomorrow's vlog, or the next vlog, should I say. Ah, found it, it's here. <laughs> I didn't put that in Google Maps. I um, I just put the hotel in and it's closed, so. Oh, hang on a minute, it's going up, it's going up. Is it? No, that was just me making a sound. Uh, it's included somehow? I don't really know, but yeah, I'll get back to you. Right, so before I actually walk over to the hotel, which the entrance is just there, and check in oh I've, yeah I'm, I'm parked here by the way so I'm parked there oh look at that <laughs> I've just been getting some amazing pictures and I haven't even walked around the building yet but I cannot wait to see this tomorrow so there is a dark ride in there as well and I, I can't wait for that I mean there's just like young people and people staying in the hotel just wandering around <laughs> people are so cool here it's got to be stunning. So what is famous about this actual hotel is that it was actually the drawing rooms for the Titanic and the White Star Line offices in here as well. Um, Thomas Andrews and the other designers, Robert Ismay, you've seen the film. They, they, they designed Titanic in these rooms in here. It's basically a big warehouse. Uh, I will show you the front tomorrow at some point. I've got a full day to do things tomorrow and go up and visit the giant causeway as well, but <sighs> if you did, yeah, if you didn't watch the last video, I did say I got extremely emotional just seeing it and being here, like of the cranes and just everything about it. So having the chance to come and stay in here and it was 177 pound for the night i think it includes breakfast i can't actually remember but it did include parking but i can't seem to go and find it but anyway i'll go and check in and i'll sort my car out i'll see you in a sec wow look at it now with the lights on i will come back later get some more footage of it <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i'm actually here like it's so surreal. I know it's just a museum. I know it's about the Titanic. And I know, I get it. There's people watching this thinking, it's not theme parks. What's it got to do with your channel? But uh, this is the sort of stuff that I like. You know, if I go to another country, even if it's Florida or anywhere like that, if I finished at a park, I will go and find something interesting to go and see. And this is one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. I, I can't believe it, like this place is amazing. I don't even know if it's open, but I need to go and check in. I'm, I'm, I'm messing around with myself here. <laughs> um, I, this has been 
this is me being real i'm like walking go to walk into like a massively f overwhelming hotel for the first time and yeah i'm walking in with shorts and a scruffy jacket and i look a mess i need to go and find parking and change into something that's a bit more suiting like a white polo shirt and then i've got to get down these steps without falling over so yeah let's go and check in oh god i'm excited about this i'm nervous at the same time but yeah i'm loving the footage on this camera as well it's so good if you ever want a new camera get a dji this action's great oh look, look at that with the uh, tower cranes behind so yeah if you don't know i know i keep going on about it but this is what i do for a living i operate those and I do have a crane channel, yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned it in this video because sometimes when I'm actually recording stuff, I forget what to say. And I, I, I know what I want to say, but it just doesn't come out. And yeah, I always mince information out about stuff. But yeah, I operate those for a living. And to be up there working on that construction site and having this and the Highlander Wolf cranes, which are down here, to look at and this really nice looking hotel which used to be like i said a warehouse basically offices an old office block i'm gonna have to go on google and and find out when it was when it was built right so there's the harland and wolf cranes i mean i'm at least half a mile away from them and they look tiny on the screen and they do look small but the fact that the planes flying over the top of them as well from Belfast Airport which isn't far away and you've got the ship I will show you in this vlog uh, tomorrow at some point but even from a distance you can still get the gist of it but yeah the offices were actually built in uh, that's, that's, uh, the only uh, the only thing with this camera it, it doesn't look great when you zoom in but yeah it was built in 1886 or between 1886 and 1917 it says on here <laughs> so unless it was modernized in 1917 or between that time but yeah really old yeah let's go and check in right so let's go and check in I'm just thinking in my head then like uh, I'm running out of battery do I need to go and get another battery I've got my bag with me there's a spare battery in there so uh, yeah uh, feels so out of place I don't even know if I should be filming in here or if I'm even allowed, but I'm, yeah, I'm just about to check in. It looks absolutely stunning in here, and I probably think that they don't mind me filming and publicising the place, because it's, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Not just staying here, but being here. Wow. <laughs> can you even see me? I'm sure you can. I've got to do this quick before my battery dry dies. Right, so what I've basically done in, I've gone in there and Insta stories, took some pictures and there's a young girl at the reception. I've walked over, I'm hearing other people talking about their problems. Some people haven't even been booked into the hotel. I did this through the official Titanic Hotel website rather than booking.com and it did seem a bit odd um, because at booking.com you couldn't pick the package you wanted. So they do one where you can get champagne and all sorts of alcoholic drinks. I don't actually drink myself. Well, not champagne anyway. Uh, but they do a package which is called Park and Stay. So you pay for parking. As you've seen, I can't find it. and do now know where the parking is. Where I went earlier, you might have seen it in the clip because I remembered that I was filming the dashboard. Where the coach park is back there, you've got to drive around there. There's an underground car park there, and she said, I've just got to walk across this plaza here and then into the hotel. <laughs> and um, yeah, um, and I just sort of, I don't know how, she just probably thought, oh yeah, this, this 
this dude's pretty cool or whatever. I don't really know. I probably just felt sorry for me for giving my whole life story and sob story about being here. But I, I sort of like jokingly said, oh, have I been upgraded? And she's like, yeah, you have. And um, I've paid for the package to go in the museum tomorrow. And um, yeah, it's cost me, what the hell? I can't see. Uh, I'll get back to you. The receipt's here, but I can't see it because I haven't got my glasses on. So just, just bear with me a second. It was £201 altogether. So yeah, the hotel was, I should have known all this. So the, the, with the parking and the hotel, it was £177. I've just paid £23 for the museum. So I couldn't work that out. But yeah, that's how bad at remembering things I actually am for a 45 year old. So yeah, £201. Right, I'm going to now go and park the car where I should have parked, but I couldn't find because I thought it was around the other side. She said that's for, for the museum and it's now closed. I'm going to go and find the parking for the hotel. I'm going to walk past here again. Christ, this video has got to be well long, isn't it? Yeah, this ain't going to be a 20 minute vlog, I can tell you that now. Right, so I found the car park. Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. I should have just carried on or looked better and found some signs for it on the wall. It was right next to where the coach park was. There's the entrance to Titanic Belfast. I parked the car over there. And yeah, pedestrian access to hotel via plaza. So you have to come this way. The doing some plain <laughs> planned maintenance on something. Yeah, I don't feel like I should be fitting into the posh hotel that I'm about to stay in. I can't believe it, I've got a room upgrade. The girl said I've got a view of the museum and the Highland and Wolf Cranes as well. So uh, I thought I'd better go and drop the car off and get me bags and and, and just get there because if I got emotional again, um, I don't think I'd be able to manage to walk back to the car again <laughs> to get me stuff. Oh, so this is literally where I was a minute ago. Yeah, there's the cranes over there. I was parked over there trying to find where the entrance is, talking to that family. Uh, so, like, again, different angles of it. So, yeah, the hotel's over there. Right, so you got this amazing view here of the Titanic Museum. I've just popped up from over there, as you saw, where the car park is. And then I've just realised that this is here. So this is the dry dock where the RMS Titanic, the Olympic and the Britannic were built. Um, yeah, with it being a dry dock and they've not used it, I don't know when they filled it in, but they filled it in. You can walk down there. It's all lit up. There's a guy walking his dog over there. Um, but yeah, this is where they built the Titanic. There's a whole thing about it, like a map. Of you could actually fit two ships in here because on the old pictures they were building either the Olympic or the Britannic at the same time. I can't remember which one off the top of my head, but there's so much information. I know Paul, oh, he's on the phone to me earlier, he's like, Oh, can you get some writing in the vlog so I can pause it and read it? But you can't, dude, I've got a it doesn't work that well with a action camera. You need something better to film footage of text and stuff. But yeah, I can't believe I'm actually here. The hotel is just over there with the Holland and Wolf Cranes behind it with the red lights on. This place is amazing. This is a massive bucket list place for me to come and visit this. I don't care. People go, oh, well, what about Cedar Point? What about all these other amazing places around the world? But for me, coming to where the Titanic was built is more of a memorable memorable place than going to a top end theme park I'm, I know that I'm into theme parks, I've got a Leesburg bag and the Helix and, and I love all that, I really do, that's another passion of mine, probably the biggest passion but growing up reading the book for the first time by Robert Ballard, I bought that well I didn't buy it, I bought a book token from school and I went to Waterstone in Lancaster and got the Titanic book and and, and oh, just the history behind it and I know thousands of people died and it's just horrible but when you think about it like just not that but just the people that built it and there was deaths involved in the building of it and just massive 
ships being here and the size of that like i just i just can't i just can't get it around my head like how they managed to build them and then the massive thing about them being unsinkable and it hits an iceberg in the middle of the night in the middle of the atlantic ocean it must have been so scary for people i would have pooed my pants i really would i would have like found a hammer and some nails and built a boat and a raft and i jumped off i don't know it just would have been horrible for people and it's so sad 1912 you know but we still got this to remember it by it's basically a, a remote memorial yeah memorial of the victims and the ship the ship's more famous than the people that died on it and it's the most famous thing in the world everyone knows about the titanic but anyway i'm gonna go back inside i'm going to my room and i'll show you that when i get there i've got my tripod stand on my mic with me as well but i'll probably just do a walk around show you the room and anything else i'll come across probably go and get something to eat and a drink as well i need to get changed and it's getting late it's currently quarter to nine so uh yeah let's get a crack on Right, I'm back in the hotel. I, have to ask. I, I didn't even know where the rooms were behind here, oh, hidden. Yeah, hidden. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Tricking people. Uh, I've been talking to people outside and everything. So I'm in one, two, seven. Oh my god, there's so much to do. I can, I can see where other people that do this sort of vlog struggle with timing and not having time to do anything. Do I need, do I need to go that way? There's a lift here. There's so much to take in. Uh, 127. So I think I'm on a, I think I'm on the end of a corner. So yeah, they've got the SSS Nomadic here as well, which you can do. I don't know if my tickets, I will have to ask in a bit. I, I need to get changed, I need to settle down, get something to eat. But you've got the SSS Nomadic. Sorry, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold again, which is the tender for the Titanic. So when he, when the Titanic was actually in um, Ireland. Oh, oh, look at this lift. It, the SSS Normandy was used as a tender ship to take people to the Titanic. Uh, 127, I'm guessing. One? Oh, look at this lift. Wow, there's even information about it. So this was probably, it's not the same design as that, but decorated wall covering. Oh, I can't read it all. I don't want to read it. There's too much to take in. One, two, seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I need to get my key out to see what room it is. Oh, man. It is one, two, seven, wasn't it? Yes, one, two, seven. Ooh. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the staircase. This is, I think, the original wood of what they used in the Titanic. You can have tours around as well. I might even ask if there's one tomorrow. So, one. Is this, is this way? Oh. oh my God, look at this. Oh, this is stunning in here. Look at the model. Oh my God, I'm in heaven in here. Oh, and I'm, I'm taking pictures of everything. <laughs> um, but there's no one here, it's so quiet as well. Um, but I will be doing a full walk around. I won't be going to bed till quite late. I just want to take it all in and... Oh, but it's stunning. The museum's outside. Uh, somewhere? It's somewhere around there. Oh, it's on the other side. But yeah, look at the, the model. So the front of the museum is actually to scale of the front of the Titanic. Just that tiny little front piece. Oh God, it would have been incredible to be here, to see it being built. Not to go on it as much, maybe for a day trip to Ireland or somewhere. But it's so nice in here. We've got the bar down there. Yeah, it's so cool. There's another model down there as well. Yeah, I need to go and get changed because I look like I've just walked in from the streets. <laughs> Yeah, so one, God, it's amazing. I feel like I'm in like Westminster Abbey or something. 
Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so modern. Yeah, the woman, I'm speaking to a woman downstairs. It actually feels like you're in the ship. One, two, yeah, nowhere near. One, two, seven, it's around the corner. So I've got a wooden key. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier about forgetting to mention stuff in vlogs. Like, I completely forgot that the SSS Nomadic was here. When I drove in, I drove past it again. There's actually a cinema and stuff around this area. So if I've got time, I'll have a wander around. But I'll probably do that in the morning. One, two, no, it's here, it's on the corner. One, two, four, oh wow. That's nice. That's really clever. I'm trying to be quiet, because I don't know want to wake people up. She said I'd get a view of everything. Hang on a minute, oh, there's a museum. So where's the cranes at? Oh, hello, sorry. <laughs> uh, she said I had a view of the cranes. It is 127. Look. Oh, I'll give it a go, a little wooden card. <gasps> oh, it opens. It opens. I can't believe I'm... Oh, it smells lovely as well. Put the card in the thing. <gasps> sorry if this vlog's a bit weird, by the way, because I find it... I'm finding it pretty weird to vlog it as well because <laughs> I'm on my own. Like normally if I'm with the missus and, and the dog, it's just chaotic because Tilly walks in the room and and, and, and jumps on the bed and oh God, everything and messes everything up and then she's chatting and, and yeah, I find it hard to sometimes vlog a room. So I'll put my bag down, I'll keep the camera rolling. It's not point doing any choppy edits in here because you want to see everything. I do. <laughs> I certainly do. Look at the door. So all the doors look like this. So it looks like pop rivets of the steel of the ship. Yeah, I'm not going to go into detail like Tim does, but never mind. You knew it was coming at some point. Yeah, there's no branding on the, on the dressing gowns. So they're not worth stealing. <laughs> right, uh, let me take my jacket off. I'll get back to you in a second. Right, so I was here trying to take a picture of the view and yeah, I got a reflection, but I'll get a better picture or just look at it now. Uh, yeah, the reflection there is not great for pictures. However, I'm a bit, I don't say gutted, but a bit disappointed because the girl did say at the reception that I did have an upgrade and that I had a view of the museum, which because it's on a corner, I'm blocked by this pillar now. But no mind, it's still a great view. But also a view of the Harland and Wolf cranes. So I'll come over here. Uh, that's another part of the hotel, I think. So, no, I can't see the, the cranes, but I can see a couple of tower cranes there. But anyway, the room. Yeah, I'll start back over here because I've just realised that there's a tray with the coffee stuff on it. And the safe, by the way. But yeah, there's a coffee machine but it's on a tray it's not even plugged into anything so i've got to have to pick that up two-handed and put it on the desk but mm. <laughs> yeah there's the tv there all your usual plug sockets usb connection there's a leaflet here actually promoting the other hotels so yeah i was actually just on the phone to my partner and she's like well is there even a menu for room service no, there isn't, but <laughs> here's the massive bed. Yeah, it's decorated really nice. I'm in a bit of a rush, to be honest. I've just changed into this brand new polo shirt, but I'm not sure if it's too tight or not. I, I, I'm looking in the mirror thinking, do I look just massively fat and overweight? I don't know. Thinking too much into it, but there's a book about the museum there. Uh, there is two bottles of water remote for the... TV there, the phone, and the bathroom. Big mirror, massive ceilings. Yeah, it's like a Victorian bathroom, like you would find in a Victorian house or anywhere else. Yeah, it's all right, I suppose. The toilet. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Well, they are. And a standard sort of shower, really, with a 
rainfall head on it. Got some stuff there, but I brought my own. But yeah, I don't really know what happened, because yeah, I'm a little bit sad that I haven't got a view of the cranes, to be honest. But yeah, for the price I've paid, it wasn't too bad. It just feels like another standard hotel, really. But I will show you more of the restaurant if I can. I don't really know yet, but yeah, let's go and have a wander around. I might even have to put my jacket back on because I'm going to go outside and just have a walk around for a for a bit and just take it all in because it's amazing just being here. Yes, I am very grateful for this, but this is I've worked all year to come and sort of have a holiday and do things like this, but I sort of just wish I wasn't on my own, my own to be honest, and I had a bit of company, but Never mind, I'll make my own company. Right, let's go back down, at least even get something to eat, because I know there's a Nando's and things, but the, I'm going to have to get back in the car and drive to them, because I think there's a bit of a walk, but I'll go and find out about my room anyway, and yeah, go and get something to eat, or have a drink, or come back to the room. I have no idea. Some nice pictures and stuff as you're walking down. The stairs, I mean, I don't know what else is here, if there's like a pool or anything, I doubt it. There's another, oh, this is the back end of the bar. Executive rooms, boardroom. Oh, let's have a look around. Because there is rooms you can go in, like I said, I think they do tours around here as well. I always think it's just dead fascinating being here. More than anything, oh, it's nice in there. Yeah, I could get lost in here. There's another room here, all set up. Yeah, they'll do functions and weddings and all sorts of stuff here. Oh, there's just pictures everywhere, it's amazing. <laughs> Director's washrooms. Uh, is it open? No. I'm not going to turn the handle and find out either. Wow. Oh, it's just to the lifts. Oh, look at the pictures. Uh, that was the Britannic in 1929, so that wasn't even the Titanic. So there's this conspiracy going around saying that people think that the Titanic wasn't actually the Titanic that sank. Wow, look at all the cranes in the pictures. Yeah, so they made a lot of ships here, the White Star Line offices and the Holland and Wolf dockyard. Yeah, I'll pull, you can pause that. Right, let's go and, I don't know, find something to eat or something. I thought we were seeing things then. Yeah, you've got the silhouettes behind the window. As you walk past them, that one hasn't, but these have. <laughs> Cool. Toilets are just here on my right hand side. Oh, there's a coffee machine here. So I don't even know if I've got breakfast included as well. I'm guessing I have. The Wolf Grill. Mm. Yeah, I might show you around a bit more in the morning as well when it's quieter. No, I don't play the piano. <laughs> yeah, it's stunning in here across the way from where the Titanic was built and the museum so yeah they could have been sat in their offices here making sure everything was done on time it was and then it sunk a couple of days later such a shame so this was actually drawing office 2 as it says there again it's a bit difficult to zoom in and look at the text with an action camera so this was one of the drawing offices, and this was obviously the main one <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful in here. I actually feel like I'm on the ship, I mean, yeah. Really cool, yeah, I could get a drink. I might have a Guinness, I don't know, but I hope they have a Budweiser or something like that. There's a big model here. Really cool. Yeah, it's nice in here. I'm going to the reception just to find out a bit more details because I don't even think I've got my ticket for tomorrow for the museum either. 
I'm so confused. This is why I need someone with me. Does anyone want a job? Just apply down below. You could be a chaperone or someone sorting me stuff out for me because I'm useless. Right, so I've actually been taken around by the lovely lady. I probably won't get her in the video. Um, yeah, so this is actually the exchange room, did you say? Telephone. Telephone exchange room where they actually received the call that the Titanic had actually sunk. Do you know where the call was made from? Though? I wouldn't be able to tell it you. Might, was it from the ship or was it from somewhere else? It was from somewhere else. Ah, right, because mm -hmm. the ship, they probably, they only had the SOS. Yes. Thing didn't they? Here, there's uh, in the museum. Is it the Marconi machine or something like that? I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, the do, 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 do. I think that's all they had on the ship. There's no telephones. There. there is moths flying around here as well, by the way. Yeah, cool that it's in here. That's what it was like. So obviously, the whole building was restored, wasn't it? Yes. And what year was it restored? It was seven years ago, or actually this it's week. Pretty new, isn't it? This week we're celebrating our seven years. Wow, that's cool. It was actually on Thursday. So that's the room I wanted with the cranes. <laughs> but never mind, it's really cool to have a walk around and see all this history as well. Oh, that was lovely. So I had a personal tour with the receptionist. Um, yes, breakfast is included, that's in the morning. I've actually just scammed me away a tour of this with um, the chaperone or the concierge in the morning at nine o'clock with a guy called David. So I can't forget that and breakfast is 7 till 11, so I'm, I'm going to have to get up early. I'm not missing any of this, but the history and what she was telling me. So basically this is where all the technicians and engineers all sat in here drawing all the drawings for the ship, hence the name, the drawing room. Thomas Andrews would have been up there in his office, the designer of the ship. And they were all had to face inwards, facing the office and not looking out of the window i.e. that way but that is amazing that hang on yes that that wall there is definitely that wall there because that's blocked in over there yeah so they were they weren't allowed to look outside they had to look down all the time and weren't allowed to look at the directors up in the office just found out they do room service it was on my key card all the time and the Harlan the wolf crane view is from the bit that i showed you earlier that i walked through like the presidential suite or whatever it was that's the view she was talking about so no you either get a front or back room view and the thing that was in here i, I have to scan it and that's me room service for like burgers or whatever i'll have a look at that but yeah breakfast is in here in the morning at the wolf grill so i think i'm gonna have to get a drink <gasps> they do cause light they do calls. Yeah, see what they've got over here, beer wise, but it's really nice in here. It smells good too. And I feel good that I'm, I'm happy and excited. Oh, they do Guinness. I could have a part, half, of, half of Guinness. I don't know if they do that. Um, do you do the alcohol free version? Because I had a half of that earlier this year. We have cans. And I, I was drunk as anything. You have cans of the yeah. non-alcoholic. But I've just seen you do Cause Light as well, so that's yeah. one of my favourites. So can I have a pint of Cause Light, please? Yeah, of course. Why not? I'm not driving. Anyway, I'll let him do this and I'll talk to you in a minute. We'll get a bit of footage of this, though. <laughs> there we go. The question is, is it complimentary? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody not. Uh, how much is that? Seven pounds. Please. Seven pounds? Wow. Cheers, I guess. <laughs> this is really nice. I can't believe I'm sat in a room with a bar that the Titanic was designed and drawn in. It's just, for me, this coming and staying and seeing this is like more fascinating than any theme park. And I've got one of my favourite beers in my hand as well. And it's very nice. Cheers. Right, so I don't know if I actually mentioned this, yeah, so I didn't really know about the breakfast situation, the food situation, the times or anything like that. So I did go back to the receptionist. I can't remember if I've already mentioned this or not. I'm useless, I'm tired. I'm having this amazing American beer. Not sponsored, by the way. 
and uh, talking to a guy behind me, he sat down with his wife and um, he just sort of said, yeah, you need to try the digital experience of the hotel because it's not very good, however. <laughs> Yeah, so I was given some information by the receptionist, but she, I did ask about food and she said, oh, scan this. I'm not going to show you now, but yeah, you scan the QR code that's with your room key um, and it brings up all the information you, you need. So I'm talking to this guy who stood next to me ordering some coffees and he's like, have you done the digital version of the hotel yet? And I'm like, no. So I've just scanned the, <laughs> just scanned the QR code and he said, it's not very good, there's 21 p PDF files and I'm like, are you kidding me? He's not kidding. There's 21 files, <laughs> PDF file, about the hotel and he just said, try and find the times for breakfast. But the text is that small, I can't even see it. So I'm going to have to zoom in anyway. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'll try and find some times. Right, so he wasn't kidding, this is actually a PDF, 21 pages of it, and no, I can't find... I mean, you can't even see I can't see it. Like, my eyesight's going so badly. I'll zoom in a bit to see the text. Yeah, you can sort of see it now, but <laughs> I've got to zoom in that far to actually see it. Yeah, it does give information about the food in the restaurant, but it's also giving instructions of the... I mean, fair enough. But have it written down in a booklet in the room, saying about no smoking, it's got about thing about equal opportunities, telephone information. Why is why is this on it? So anyway, food and beverages. I can get room service. And there is a breakfast menu, if you can sort of see that without me zooming in. And then the equal opportunities bit at the bottom, and that's about it. But there's there's no times for anything. It does say Sorry, I'll just have to zoom in a bit. But yeah, it does say breakfast is from half 12 till half 9 p.m. So pretty much a 24-hour room service. So now until 9.30 to tomorrow. Um, and it shows you the room service menu. There's pizza for 16 quid. 19 quid, sorry, bloody hell. Yeah, 19 quid for a pizza. And what is it? Eight pounds for sandwiches, but there's no times. Um, um, that's when that's when the missus said to me about them. Is there a menu in the room? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I even I had to ask, and then she obviously directed me to this card. Other than that, they did say behind me that the food is good in the restaurant. So I'll look forward to eating something in a minute when I order something. This beer is very nice. I am got to stay here for a minute. It's quarter past 10 now. The guy behind me was mentioning about whiskies. He said the local whiskey called Bush, Bush Mills is nice. You don't have a Jack Daniels, do you? Oh, you do? I'll have a Jack Daniels instead then. <laughs> Happy days. Right, so I'm actually partial to a bit of whiskey as well. well Jack Daniels anyway, I, I don't really like anything else. I uh, got viol violently drunk from drinking Southern Comfort and Lemonade when I was in my what, late teens, early 20s. Anyway, the couple I've just been speaking to over there, again, I've forgotten their names, he did tell us. I'm so sorry. He said, try the Bush Mills. So I'm like, ooh, there's about seven bottles up there. And I thought, like, is there any flavoured versions because I like uh, the Honey Jack Daniels and they're like oh we don't really know sort of thing I said well I'll have that one up there the cheapest one six pounds sixty I think so I've just gone for a single whiskey it's a local brand as well it's actually uh, the guys were telling me that there's um, like a, a, an attraction you can go to the, like the distillery where they make it and it's up near Giant Causeway not to miss it out anyway I've gone for one Wish me luck. I tried Bell's whiskey a long time ago and that, the smell of that makes me feel sick. I, and before I actually try it, I smelt it, it does smell amazing. I, I thought it was apple flavour, so because my eyesight's so bad, I, obviously I can't see the text on there. I've put my light on my phone to look at the... It's, it, it's actually honey and vanilla, so uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, that. It's not a, a Jack Daniels. It hasn't got the sour sort of uh, taste that you do get in Jack Daniels. Hopefully, at some point, going to the distillery there in Tennessee. But um, cheers. Oh, that's some good stuff, that. I'm definitely got to sleep well tonight. Wow, what a night I've had. I've literally only just sat at the bar and had that cause and had the whiskey. I am a little bit tipsy. I'm not. I'm not drunk. Obviously, I haven't drunk enough. I'm not that much of a lightweight. But yeah, what an experience. It's really late now. <laughs> I, I should have been in bed like ages ago. So I am going to go to bed. I won't show you much more of the room. I will probably show you in the morning. Obviously, with the views of the. The museum there breakfast is at seven o'clock the museum opens at nine i've got a guided tour at 10 i think she said and then obviously going up to the north to go and see the giants causeway apparently it's not worth visiting but i want to go and see it myself it's about an hour away so it gives me time to go there see that and then drive to dublin back for my flight Anyway, um, yeah, I'll probably just see you in the morning when I get up out of shower and dressed and stuff and just say good morning to you. But good night. It's been an amazing day. In fact, one of the best days I've had, especially on my own anyway. I mean, yes, I would have preferred to have been with my fiance and my dog um, here. So I do need to ask if they allow dogs because I did ask a member of staff and they they said they'd go and find out, but they never they never came back to me. I eventually got something to eat. They did complimentary nuts as well, so I've eaten something, but all I've had today is a French toast this morning and some porridge. I've had nothing else, and it's really late. I'd, so, yeah, I'm going to say good night. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Coming up tomorrow will be that and it's going to be a separate video because I wanted the Titanic Hotel to be its own video if that makes sense however I don't know it depends on how much I've filmed because I don't want the videos to be too long and of two different subjects because then I can't really title it if I, I could probably just title it Hi Titanic Hotel and Museum at, at the same time but I think that probably warrants its own video especially with it being a dark ride the vlog might be too long anyway i'll i'll, I'll decide on them in the morning on what i'm doing anyway i'll s see you in the morning good night <laughs>tired so it's just gone I've moved my phone now it's over there I have already got up um, to go and grab the camera and go to the toilet right anyway so um, yeah I slept okay it is really early because I want to go and get breakfast I want to utilize the time I, I actually have here I slept fine but the only problem I have sort of with the room at the moment um, last night I couldn't draw the curtains properly because they're so tall you're standing at the bottom here pulling them these these two curtains were fine but these two wouldn't draw so <coughs> tugging them all night well the, the, the curtains obviously <laughs> they just wouldn't close so I've had to leave them um, so I've had a lot of light coming through the window also very snuffly as well I don't know why that is um, yeah <laughs> so it's not the best start to the morning anyway I'm gonna get up I'm gonna go and have a, a number two and a shower and get ready and get dressed I'll show you the curtain situation once I've actually got out of bed but it's so early. I, I know that's the thing about as well. These people will probably put in the comments, oh yeah, I wish I was doing what you do and blah blah blah. But you've got to remember, you've got we've got to utilise the time that we've got doing these sort of trips. 
you can't be lying in bed all day and stuff. I mean, yeah, I do tend to just faff about and be late for stuff quite often. <laughs> um, but I really want to sort of like utilise the time I've got here. So I've got to go down for breakfast and then I've just got to wander around for a bit until the museum opens at nine o'clock. So it's a couple of hours away from now. Uh, check in, uh, sorry, check out isn't until 11 o'clock and I think I've got the tour of the hotel at 10 o'clock. So uh, I don't know what to do. I might, I might um, cancel the tour of the hotel and just have a wander around it myself. I don't really know because it's supposed to be some sort of grand. No, that's in Liverpool. Isn't it? There's a grand staircase in the Titanic Hotel in Liverpool. So, yeah, I just want to do the museum now. I just want to get out of bed. It's quite warm in here as well. I did have the air conditioning going all night, and it did get quite cold during the night. I mean, bed-wise, it's um, it's been all right, but these pillows are a bit too firm for me, so my neck's been like ugh, all crooked all night. But yeah, I slept okay. It's just I just need to get up now. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. So with the curtains, basically, I, I've got to be careful because I haven't got any clothes on. <laughs> you pull them like that, like that. And they just it's just on a rail. The same with the other side. And obviously, I've just done that as well. And you see the cranes. Uh, well, one of them's not working. He hasn't dropped his block yet, so he's either late to work or he's not starting at that time in the morning. But one of the other blocks of the cranes is down, and they just look this one's not going back now and there's no there's no like pole or anything to to pull them and yeah i'll just yeah nothing absolutely nothing oh there's no reflections anywhere <laughs> and i hope that guy down there can't see me but yeah yeah that's that's not a great design it's just the ceilings are so high in here Anyway, I'm, I'll, I'll go and have a shower and get ready. Right, so I'm up, I'm dressed, and yeah, everything went okay in the bathroom. There was no issues with that, other than them shower heads are not very powerful, so it's a bit, well, as the title says, rain shower, so uh, yeah, it was, a, it was okay. Some really nice stuff over there. Yeah, everything else was fine. It's a hotel, it's the same as pretty much every other hotel put me nice polo shirt back on again because traveling with a backpack and a mail on my own all my stuff's creased so I, yeah i don't want to put a, a t-shirt on i do fly home tonight anyway the flights look like six o'clock from dublin so not bothered about that but yeah the uh, the curtain issue i was actually just looking to see if there was a button to press to see if they're on like a motor but they're not i managed to get this oh there you go where is to get that one back? I just, I just, <laughs> I just can't do it. And sorry if I'm got a bit coughing and stuff today. I mean, there probably won't even be that much Ooh, talking in the vlog from the Titanic Museum. But yeah, it's I'm, I'm finding it quite hard actually to do quite a lot of vlogs at the same time because I'm trying to remember what I've already said in previous videos and giving you information and facts about stuff that that's here you know why I, why I've come and stayed here and it's just yeah it's amazing it's so surreal and now I've obviously I've got over that emotional stage I mean I still haven't got in the museum yet but waking up to see that if you can even see it with the lighting yeah, there you go seeing that and the mountains in the distance Belfast is a stunning place, it really is, like all the ships coming in, you've got the Steno, Steno line there, you've got planes taking off because the airport's just over there somewhere, you've got the old dry dock here for where the Olympic class ships were built, so there was two in there at the same time and obviously they put these metal structures up for the lighting and stuff, anchor down there, don't know what that's from, <laughs> um, yeah, there's, a lot, there's a lot to take in. And it's one of them, if I don't give you the full facts and history about everything, just Google it. I must have missed something out, like the, the, the people that actually were involved with them. Thomas Andrews, I mean, just say over there, like, you've you seen the film, you, you know. Thomas Andrews, who designed the ship. Um, this, these were his offices and stuff like that. It's just, 
insane. And obviously, because he died on the ship in the sinking, he never returned back to here. But the, the White Star Line carried on, you know, it, it's, it's one of them. Um, there's a book here, I don't know if I showed you this last night, I'm pretty sure I did, but it's about the building of the uh, of the museum. Oh, just, just amazing. Like, look at the pictures. Oh, right, anyway, it's, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, it's just gone 8 o'clock. I've got to go down and get some breakfast now, I will show you that. And I'll just hang around until the museum opens at 9 o'clock. Can't wait for that. Bye room. I'll probably see you again soon. It's no doubt the last time I'm ever gonna stay here. I'll obviously get a different room with a different view next time. Yeah, I didn't even bother having a coffee from the machine. I just can't be bothered with it faffing around. Like I said, it's on a tray and um, not plugged into anything. So I, I just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, stunning. Yeah, it's really cool in here. There's no carpet on the floor. It's like a um, like a concrete sort of style floor, or hard floor. Right, so walking through the Hotel 2 reception, yeah, I've come back through this room again and had a look at the view of the Harland and Wolf gantry cranes over there. Oh, just amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I, I definitely need to come back here and see more of it. Well, yeah, there's loads of stuff to read. There's a, st a, a little story here about the Harland and Wolf's cabinet maker, George Frederick Scattergood, with his daughter Joan. If you look, he's in Blackpool. <laughs> there's Blackpool Tower there behind him. Fascinating. Yeah, there's like history about the wallpaper, like the parquet floor, it's just everything. And that's the view down to the drawing room and the bar. So this is drawing room two, there's another one on the other side, I'll show you that before I leave as well. I have got my stuff with me, my jacket in my bag, I'm going to sort of run back to the car <clears throat> before I do the hotel, uh, the hotel, the, the museum. As I walk down, um, there was one of the rooms, I can't remember where it was, it was down here. I didn't show you, it was Thomas Andrews' office and apparently it's one of the only rooms that wasn't um, in disrepair because like the whole hotel has been reconditioned. Yeah, it's just down here. Remember where I am now. In the telephone exchange room, that was just back through there. Uh, where is this, this room? Mr. Payne's office. I don't know who Mr. Payne is, but that's, that's his office. Thomas Andrews' office. Yeah, I don't think he was that old when he died on the ship as well. Oh, yeah, 20, 28. Chief Draftman, age 28. So, he wasn't old. Yeah, look at this, all original. Oh, it smells as well, it's just got that smell. I don't think the Bose speaker came with it. <laughs> and the pictures of just stuff, yeah. Some of the drawings of things. Scale. Oh, why are them triple screws? I have no idea. Diagram showing development of the size of White Star liners. All ah, right, so, okay. Uh, where's the Titanic? Oh. Uh, Britannic. Jumasa, what? Uh, oh, yeah, the Olympic class. Yeah, so look how much bigger they are compared to the older ones there. Uh, yeah, loads bigger. Video there showing all the stuff. I'll see all this later in the <clears throat> in the uh, the museum. Oh, what a, what a cool place though. It's one uh, hell of a view to come out to a hotel too. I mean, yeah, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I have said this before. Not everyone's into museums and history and Titanics and things. Most people will just don't even care about that they'd rather go over to another country and ride some of the biggest scariest coasters and rides known to man some people are into football and go and watch a world cup and stuff like that for me it, it's things like this staying in that hotel and yes there was rods behind the curtain i couldn't find them they were built into the curtains and i, I couldn't feel them it's just me being useless but yeah the hotel 
was very nice. I uh, really enjoyed staying. Oh, he's uh, he's up there now. <laughs> There's a mobile crane there as well. So the buildings are probably flats or something over there. Yeah, they're all they're all up there early. I've got a guy covering my crane back home in. Well, I say home, <laughs> but back in Brentford anyway. Looks like they're pulling the shutters off the wall. So basically, the shutters. Um, is how you create the, the concrete walls so they probably poured them yesterday and they're stripping them down that'll be all placed on the ground yeah so um, let's go and get some breakfast uh, such a unique hotel anyone that is into history and stuff like that then you've, you've you've got to come and have a look at this place even if you don't stay here I'm sure they allow you to just walk in and have a look at the the drawing rooms and this model here yeah it's just so fascinating it's it's really pretty in here i mean what an office to work in it's a shame that you weren't allowed to look out the window or look up at your bosses staring at you up there making sure you were doing your job so yeah the uh the wolf grill looks pretty busy but i think it's a buffet style Fire alarm tested at 12 noon, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna stand and wait my turn. Are you meeting someone, sir? I am waiting for a table. Yes, oh, please, yeah, yeah, table. yeah. Right, so I've got a table. I've got one sort of on my own here so I can film myself reviewing the breakfast and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, there's the menu. It is all included, the hot food and the continental food. You just go up and grab it it's just over there I will show you what's there and there's options for other stuff if you're vegan or dietary requirements and that sort of stuff vegan breakfast yeah um, that's really about it right I, th I don't think they have the the Irish porridge up there so it, you've got to order that yeah, it's very nice in here the wolf grill yeah. so you got your croissants and your little muffins and your pan au chocolates, fruit and things like that here, yogurts. Oh, is that kippers? So, baked ham. Oh, is it kipper? Smoked kipper. Oh, smoked salmon, hot mackerel and a selection of cheeses. Oh yeah, very nice. I might grab a bit of fish. Oh, there's the salmon, cereal. Oh, look at the cool jugs. I like them. Never seen them before. Honeys, maple syrup, all your jams and breads just here. Orange juice, apple juice, which I can't stand. <laughs> Gluten free stuff all packed together, that's quite good. So you've got. Uh, mushroom and scrambled egg pancakes and I don't know what that is what's this excuse me sorry what, what's this on this side that's what sorry potato bread oh I've got to try some of like that um, oh god what what's that is that the Irish what? black and oh well, I need to try some of that oh yeah black and white pudding in there and sausages where's the beans <laughs> there's no, there's no beans. You order them from the kitchen. No, oh dear. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got to order the beans from the kitchen. Right. So what have I got? <clears throat> Excuse me. I do feel a bit groggy this morning, but yeah, I've got some scrambled egg, uh, some of the potato thing. I've got a, I shouldn't really be using my hands, but I've got to eat it anyway. I've got a black pudding, a white pudding, two sausages. If you want any extras like fried, uh, what was it? <coughs> Baked beans, grilled tomato, poached or fried eggs, or gluten free toast, any extras, you got to ask your server to bring it out. I just asked if I can have a little pot of beans. I've got, an, I've got a feeling it might not turn up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to eat this as quick as I can before it gets cold. And then if the beans turn up, I'll just eat those. But yeah, I've got a glass of orange juice as well and some filtered coffee. There's no hazelnut lattes here this morning because there's um, 
coffee machine is broken. Well, never mind. <laughs> oh, we're here. Oh, thank you. Good timing. Just about to turn the camera off. Yeah, here's me beans. So, uh, let's tuck in. Oh, I also got some small brown sauce, HP the best, and a small ketchup as well in these little pots. So, uh, put the sauces on and I'll let you know what it's like. Oh, yeah. Not a breakfast without plenty of sauce on the top of that as well. So, yeah, the beans have turned up. They're now on the plate. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Right, I've actually got to try the white pudding first because I've never had it before. Mmm. Nice and cold, just how I like it. <laughs> That's alright, yeah. It's an acquired taste, sausage. Sausage is actually really nice, like a, like a Richmond sausage, a potato cake thing, brown sauce on it. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Right, the museum's open. I've got a leg it. Well, I've not got a leg it because I've, I've got pretty much all day. My flight back home is not until quarter past seven tonight, so with me going to the Giants Causeway, that's only an hour away from where I am now, and then back to Dublin Airport, it's only a couple of hours. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be at the Giants Causeway for long. It's mainly to come and do this, and obviously that beautiful museum. I mean, the fact that you'd be sat here, and as you can see the building just through the windows here, that, like I said, that is the exact diameter and shape of what the, the bow of the Titanic would have been like so but obviously it would have been over there facing this way so oh it's just so emotional being here and I don't know I don't want to break down again <laughs> anyway that breakfast was amazing I really enjoyed that I am going to wrap up this vlog I'm going to oh they're doing the tours now in a minute I think he's always dressed up I don't know if it's like the concierge but I need to go and drop my bag off and probably find some sort of garage to get some drinks and things. Oh, yeah, he's giving, yeah, he's giving the little talk now. You can go in here. I love it. I'll just show you around quickly before um, before I go. But yeah, it is it's technically a museum. Yeah, there's a view of that drawing room again. Wow. So is this drawing room one, I take it? Yeah, there's loads of stuff in here to read. I mean, yes, I could even be in this hotel for God knows how long. There's a bar and more toilets this way. I was going to leave, but now look what I've done. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I don't really know what's on the other side. It must be just like unused um, space and stuff because the building obviously continues over there. So probably be the offices for the actual hotel itself but yeah the, the, the guys there the concierge you could give me a tour around but um i don't think it'd be fascinating enough for the vlog uh, plus it might be a bit too long anyway but um yeah i've got to go outside and i've got to wrap this up staying here at the titanic hotel in belfast it's been amazing and very emotional right so that's it for me um i hope you enjoyed this vlog there's obviously more to come still where's the lighting at there isn't any <laughs> i'm in a shade um, yeah that's oh, is that okay i don't know there with the, the there you go so yeah that's where i stayed last night the uh titanic hotel belfast I've still got a couple more vlogs to come one from the museum itself but it's fascinating to see the the tower crew, I say fascinating, I see this stuff every day. If you don't already know, I know I keep mentioning it, but I operate these tower cranes for a living. Not those exact ones, but uh, pretty much just like those. Yeah, it's so cool around here. I've really enjoyed it. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
for next time I upload another video hopefully more hotel reviews and things like this to come in the future not as expensive as some of the channels go to I mean to be honest I don't actually see the point in that I mean yeah it's nice showing really fancy luxury hotels but if people can't actually afford to stay there them, I don't see the point in actually doing a review from it. This was £177 for the night. I, did, I don't even think I even mentioned that in the vlog. I might have said that in the last one. I, so I was saying, I, I forget what I'm talking about after time. Yeah, £177 for the night and then £23 extra for the, for the museum. Parking was included because I did a parking stay where you got the hotel and parking included. So yeah, for £177 with the breakfast as well. I don't think it's too bad. Obviously, alcoholic drinks are um, are optional. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy the vlog. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.